Hi, welcome to this video on pre-commit. So let me ask you a question. How do you ensure that your code is up to scratch before it gets pushed to your upstream repo? How do you ensure that you don't forget to run a formatter or a linter against your code at the point that you run a git commit? So the answer to this is the tool called pre-commit. So pre-commit is a tool that allows you to trigger different tasks and actions against your code at the point that you perform a git commit. So within this video, I'm going to show you how to install pre-commit and how to automatically apply a black format to your code at the point that you do your git commit. So let's go. So first of all, let's have a look inside the git hooks directory. And what we see is a number of different files. So what Git provides us with is the ability to run a series of different shell commands at different trigger points within Git. So at the point that a merge or a push or a commit is performed or run or triggered, should I say, then Git can run a series of different shell commands. So these files are the files that are configured and each of these files contain the different shell commands that need to be run at each of these different trigger points. So rather than going in and configuring our pre-commit script to run all of the different commands, we can abstract this and take much of the heavy lifting away from it by using a tool called pre-commit. So to install pre-commit, what we do is we do pre-commit install off our pip like so. I've already got that installed, which is great. And then next what we do is we create a configuration file that tells pre-commit what to do at the point that the commit is performed. So we'll create a file like so, and then we add in the different things that we want to perform. Now, these are performed via what is known as hooks. So pre-commit provides a whole range of different supported hooks that we can see here. So things from not only Python, but we've got all the different languages as well. Things that we can do against JSON, Go, a whole ton of different things. So you can just go to this, this URL here and you can find the different, the different hooks that are supported. And so the way it works is that you find within here the hook that you want to add, and then you can just add the URL and the name of the hook within your config file. So we add the, the URL that we just saw there, and then the ID of that hook. Now the revision, that is what's taken from the actual main repo. So if you click on this link and you go to the current um, revision of this, this main branch, then you can just add this revision in. So for black, if we go onto the main repo here and we scroll down, we can see the main release is this. So we can actually update it to this new re revision. So we'll actually do that. We do that now. Good stuff. So next we need to install our hooks. We do that by doing a pre dash commit install. And here we will see that it's now installed that within our hooks directory that we can now see within here. Now that we've installed our hooks, what we can do is an initial run of our hooks against our code using the pre-commit run. And so this basically runs those hooks without actually performing an actual git commit. So before we do, we'll do an add of our file. So which has got loads of bad spacing, et cetera. In. And so what we can do is we can run a pre-commit run. And now this will run and this comes back as failed is because black hat perform a format against that file. So now if we do another pre-commit on that, that's passed and that's all good. So now that everything is configured, this will run our black format at the point that we perform a git commit. So if we change our file and we make some changes, add this in, and then we do our commit, we'll see that it's performed the reformat on our file, which is great. And then we can we add and re-perform the commit and that's passed and that has committed. So great. I hope you found this video useful. And if you want to get more tips and tricks around network automation, head over to the Packet Coders website at packetcoders.io forward slash newsletter to sign up to our weekly email. Thanks. And I'll see you soon.